We're back here on the Now Morning Show, and I'm so excited, and you'll find out why right now, because some of you might remember how excited we were on the Now Morning Show over the Christmas holidays to learn that four persons with Trinidad and Tobago roots were to be honored by, the Brit by Britain's Queen Elizabeth in her 2020 honors list. Well, my next guest is one of those honorees. He has a sterling career in theater, film, including Hero, and we talk about that, and uh, television, creating history and wonderful memories in British TV series such as Love Thy Neighbor and, of course, East Enders. What you may not know is, and what created some excitement in our production meeting this morning, is that he was the voice of the opening and closing sequence of the U.S. version of that popular children's series. Remember Teletubbies? Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, wow. the voice. And let's just talk about a few of his awards now. In 2006, he was appointed officer in the Order of the British Empire. And, um, and in 2018, he was awarded the Outstanding Achievement Award at the British Soap Awards. And in her 2020 New Year's Honours list, Her Majesty the Queen appointed him commander of the Order of the British Empire for services to drama and charity. By now, you know, I'm speaking about our very own son of the soil, legendary actor and philanthropist, Rudolf Walker, and he's here in person. Oh, it's great to be here. Welcome, home, welcome, welcome. Yeah. The last time we were in Stratford. That's right. And yeah. we were talking about Hero, mm -hmm. <laughs> which you're in. Yes. And, yes, uh, yes. and uh, I know you had a screening in England yeah, and so yes. on. But we're not talking about Hero now. We're talking about you coming home after uh, how many years? Well, I, I went to the UK in 1960, so that's a long, long, long time. But wow. I, you know, I, I come back regularly. It's yes. my coming to Trinidad is my answer to a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is not just that carnival time. This not is not just carnival. This is just this coming is home. Just coming home. Yes. Just coming yeah. home. As I say, here's where my navel string was buried, yes. and I. You know, Trinidad is my home. I when I talk in, yeah. in the UK, yes. I refer to Trinidad as my home. Yeah, you know, yeah. I always do, and that will never leave me. We think of people of Sir Trevor McDonough, Rudolph Walker. When you think of Trinidad and Tobago, son of the soils in film and television, and these mm. are the names that we hold so dear. Mm. What memory do you hold there in terms of your illustrious career? Um, <laughs> the challenges. Um, uh, yeah, the, the challenges, I, uh, the, the things that I have done over the years, the, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the difficulties. Yeah. that Because you were pioneering artists. at the time. Well, some of the roles that you were playing, I would imagine. Well, certainly something like Love Thy Neighbor yes. was quite, uh, quite something because it's the first time. Yeah, I was a bit um, controversial as well. I was it was, it yeah. was controversial. It became more controversial as the years went by, but mm -hmm. certainly for that period it was, it was necessary. Yeah. Um, you know, for the first time you had a, a black actor come into your front room, um, you know, how many days a week, yeah. um, never out of the top one or two in the ratings. Yeah and playing a character that um, he gave as good as he got. Um, yeah. You know, he wasn't um, uh, an Uncle Tom. Yeah. Yeah, and what um, was that like at that time? That would have been the 70s, yeah? That was in the 70s, yeah. What, yes. would it, what, was it, what was it like in the 70s to be a black actor? Now people uh, take it for granted. You see black no, actors no, no, all I, the time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I, I still wouldn't say that we yeah. take it for granted because, you know, there mm -hmm. is still there are still challenges in the UK. There are still okay. problems. Um, yes, I have risen above all the, 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 the petty um, racism that mm. one encounter. But that sort of thing still exists. It's yes. still not as easy yes. as we would like it to be. And I don't think that we are as advanced yeah. in, in, in the British theatre yeah. and television as, as we ought to be. Uh, the sad thing is a lot of um, actors leave the UK and go... I'm That's talking true. about Afro-Asian um, yes. actors. Yeah. Leave the UK, go to America, make a name of themselves for themselves, and then come back to the UK. Yeah. But you uh, never did that. You stayed and I, you just went from one level to the next. Uh, yes, uh, I what did. is your preferred medium? Because your stage, your your film, and your television. Well, I think if you ask, uh, say ask, if you ask, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yes, I'm home, I'm home. <laughs> yeah, but if you ask most um, actors, they would say that the theatre, and certainly yeah. theatre is my first love, yeah. um, which I haven't done for quite a number of years because mm -hmm. I've been involved in this very highly successful television series, yes. um, East Enders. East Enders, of course. 
Yeah, and I'd imagine. So when you, you know, Trinidad and Tobago, you're here and you're home mm. and everybody's everybody. But when you're in the UK and you're <laughs> walking through the streets and people are like, that's true, don't walk. And I've seen the comments on social media. Mm. What's that life like for you? I take it as it comes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I can't um, knock it because it's part of my life. It's, yeah. I chose that profession. And I'm fortunate enough to be, you know, uh, uh, to get that sort of accolade. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, there are times when it can be difficult yes. uh, walking the streets or when you're sitting down in a restaurant and, you know, and you're just about to put something in your mouth and someone come over you and say, Mr. Walker, can, uh, <laughs> can I have a photograph, please? Yeah. But, you know, by yeah. and large, it's, yeah. it, 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 it's, it's excellent. I, I, and you've used your celebrity for good works because you also have your foundation. That's Tell us right. a bit about the foundation. Well, um, um, one arm of the foundation is to go into schools, especially in areas where there are problems. Mm -hmm. And I create an inter-school drama competition between various schools. It's r up and down the country, from right. Cardiff to London to Bristol to yeah. Manchester. And this is just giving back to the youngsters, gi yeah. giving them a sense of purpose, yeah. um, getting them to realize that everything is achievable yeah. and don't always look on the negative side. Yeah. Uh, and it's very interesting when you were talking to, you know, when you're talking to the, the artists, the blind artists, saying that, you know, avoid negativity, you know, look on the positive side. Uh, and, and as a blind actor, it, it's, it's such a, a powerful message. And it's a message to each and every one of us. Yeah. And you're speaking about messages and you've been speaking to young uh, British uh, talent coming mm -hmm. up. But what mm -hmm. about young Trinidad and Tobago talent? Because I know around Christmas there was a buzz, especially with you and... Uh, the 1917 uh, Mendez, Sam Mendez, Mendes. filmmaker, and so mm. on. What would you say to actors, actresses in Trinidad and Tobago who are doing their thing here in Trinidad and Tobago, mm. Rudolph Walker speaking to them? What would you say? Um, it depends on what they want to achieve. It depends on what they want. If they want to make it a, a career. Mm -hmm. um, I had always, I, I dreamt many, many years ago, and I put it forward to various bodies, even here at TTT, that um, it is time that for the, because Trinidad is small, the talent is, is phenomenal, that really we should be looking at collaborating with the other islands, collaborating with the film industry. You know, the, 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 the sky is the limit. And think big. Don't yeah. just be isolated and think this is Trinidad, one track. Mm -hmm. And hence the reason why we suffer for Calypsos. Yeah. You know, I, I have a problem in the UK when I try to get a... Uh, 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 Calypso featured on on on, on East Enders or any that? of the shows, you know the the rights and the various problems ah, that they encounter, and yeah. it's far easier to go to Jamaica and, and, and get a, a I reggae. know exactly what you're talking about. I'm Trinidadian. Yes. I want to, to publicize Trinidad. I, I I want the Calypsos to be to be played. I want it to be mainstream. Mm -hmm. um, but you know something needs to be done. It's interesting that you said that because we're seeing more and more. Um, little images of Trinidad and Tobago. There was a film on Netflix recently where mm. one of our bears was featured. You know, mm. you hear references to Pelori and to Ruti. You say, that there has to be a Trinidad and Tobago citizen on that of writer's course, team course, or so. How course. much influence do you have in terms of getting those sort of uh, images and references to Trinidad and Tobago into EastEnders? Well, n not only in EastEnders, in my whole career, yeah. I made it a point of duty that... Um, you know, most of the parts I play, if I have uh, the, 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 the right or the, 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 the advantage that I say this character is from Trinidad, um, you know, I did so in East Enders. So yeah. with that come, you know, the, 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 although I don't write the scripts, yes. but it comes with mannerism, it comes with various little things that I would introduce. But, you know, my uh, publicizing uh, Trinidad go all the way back to the 70s during... Um, the days of BWIA and the Trilantum BWI, <laughs> Best Woman in the Air. Um, best Woman in the Air, I've never <laughs> heard that one. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, but will they arrive? <laughs> but, it, it, you know, it's been... Yeah. But, um, you know, World Travel Market, um, yeah. you know, I, I spent a lot of time traveling up and down the, the UK publicizing yeah. Yeah. Trinidad. So it goes all the way back yes. then, yeah. um, simply because, it, uh, you know, Trinidad... You have traveled, yeah. and you, you you come back here. Trinidad is 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 beautiful. Yeah. We have fantastic people here. Ninety percent. <laughs> I got to be very careful, but you know, yeah, Trinidad yeah. is beautiful. Is. Um, we are blessed. You know, when we think of all the tr the, the catastrophes and the tragedies are happening mm -hmm. right across the world, the mm -hmm. old man have said up there. He said, "Look, mm -hmm. you have a beautiful place. We have a rainbow city." Mm -hmm. 
And we, as I said last night on, on radio, we have we're in a danger of, of destroying that, destroying it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, the woman is going to say, look, I've given you all this. You've destroyed it. Mm. Enough is enough. But we keep pushing forward to make sure that we don't allow that to happen with the lights that exist, the, the people who are lights. You know, we just have to continue to, you have to, to continue. ensure and do but the work. From the top yeah. to the bottom. Yes, You know, it has exactly. to be a considered effort. What do you miss most about Trinidad and Tobago before... We just quickly talk about the grand cultural celebration of Thanksgiving that's going to be happening mm. on Sunday the 15th. What do you miss most? The food, the people, the beach? What the, do you miss the, most? No, the people, the laughter. <laughs> they're sitting down with the boys and all talking. Yeah. And, and really relaxing. And yeah. as, as we say in the UK, just chilling out. Just chilling out. And having a good laugh for, over anything. But, but you anything. have to say Lyman, man. You're back in Trinidad all and right. Tobago. All right. <laughs> Lyman. Yeah, all Lyman. Right, you miss right, the right, Lyman. Right, Lyman. Tell us about the grand cultural celebration that's taking place at the uh, All Saints Anglican Church on the 15th. Well, that is being organized by my dear wife and, oh. and friends, Neil, yes. Giuseppe, um, yeah. and I've been kept well out okay. of that. Okay. So, um, well, I'm j I was wondering, I'm like <laughs> reading this, I'm saying, he's not going to be talking about this. No, no, no. no but we, but well you're away. being celebrated. So we're just going to say that you will be celebrated at a grand cultural celebration and thanksgiving mm. for your life achievements well deserved yes. i know we're not supposed to hug so let's do the elbow shake praying i'm a hugger are, are you know everyone knows i'm a hugger we have to do a little thing like that right <laughs> rudolph walker thank you so much for coming on the program this morning it's Bless been you. my pleasure chatting all with right. you all right so we maybe we can fly you back for the hero in me <laughs> let's take a few messages come right back after this